Hello everyone, and I have fucked up. So we're gonna have to play the rest of this game in free mission. Alright, so let's start... with mission 15, where we left off. The Talon of Ruin! Alright. Talon of Ruin. Oh boy. So, man, I've had quite the adventure um, trying to record these final missions. Quite the adventure. I have screwed this up twice already, and I am pissed off, so I am not going to screw this up again. After I'm done recording this, I'm going to test it before I move on to the next mission. That would be really freaking smart, especially after I screwed up the first time. You would think that I would do that the second time, but no. So, here we are, uh, without... With, with hopefully, with no audio issues, and we will get going and destroy this XBO. For this particular mission, I will be taking the Eurofighter Typhoon with the XLAAs. There we are, and... Strangely enough, I will be giving PJ also XLAAs because it is very imperative that uh, we take out this XBO before it reaches the edge of the combat area and sometimes I need his help taking out the engines so uh, here we are, there's, there's PJ, hi PJ and here is the XBO coming over our base trying to destroy it oh my god, why are we just sitting here watching it? why don't we like try and do something about it? I'm not sure but Oh my. Look at that destruction. That really, really weird looking tank thingy. Oh, that, that's an AA gun. That's what that is. Duh. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I don't know why we just sit there and do nothing while this damn thing uh, flies over and destroys our base. We could at least be taxiing to the runway, you know, you would think. But no. Uh, let's go for it. This is where the big explosion takes place. Notice that the crater is fresh. No, I don't know. It doesn't look that fresh to me, but it does not have water in it like the Ace Combat 5 version does. It's a nice uh, little touch. There's the uh, castle that we rescued President Tarling from uh, in the winter landscape, similar to Ace Combat 5. And uh, here is this XBO and the Espada crew. A spot of one to a spot of two. Let's take out these Espada Fools! Espada Fools! Espada Fools! I know, but they're not too friendly. Alright, here's an SC-37 that needs to be destroyed. I rely too much on my uh, missiles, apparently, so here we go. Alrighty, let's take out this B-2 over here. This low-altitude B-2. I don't get it. Usually B-2s are higher up in the sky, and it makes more sense for them to be up higher in the sky, but, but whatever. 
for whatever reason, this one is quite low. Here we go. Uh, now we got two X twos or something over here. I don't know what you call them. F twos, yeah, F F twos. So, yeah, I think two F twos and another B two over here to take out. Uh, I know this mission quite well because I've played. This is my third time. Well, four. Yeah, third time playing it. Uh, in the past couple weeks, it's unfortunate that I know it this well before playing it uh, in your company. However, uh, it's still a good time. And here's this V2. Uh, we're gonna be hitting it head on. Just like that uh, stuff that you apply directly to the forehead. Just like it. Except it, that doesn't have much as, B, as much B2 in it. Alright, let's go take out this uh, XBO. I've done this a lot faster this time than I have in the past. So uh, we should not have any time constraints at all. And the uh, my first two attempts, I came very close to... Uh, or my first two completions, I should say, not my first two attempts. I I came. It was very very close to this XBO running out of uh, uh, run, running outside the airspace before I took it out. But uh, I'm getting quite a bit better at this sort of thing now that I know what the heck I'm doing. All right, let's take out these guns. And the boresight aiming comes in handy. All right. Now we've just got the engine, the two arms on the top there. Oh, is there more than two arms? Yeah, there's four arms. My bad. P thanks, Pixie. Or PJ. Then not Pixie. Definitely not Pixie. Alright, let's take out these engines. Thank you, sir. There's half the engines. There's the other half. And now... We will take out the front end. The cockpit. Which is shooting missiles at us. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. He still has defenses in the front, dumbass. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about, do you? Anyway. That's pretty easy. It's a pretty easy mission. It was even easy the first time I did it. Uh, so don't think that it just got a lot... Well, it did get a lot easier because I have lots of practice at it, but it's kind of an easy mission. It's not very hard, in my opinion. Hey, PJ. And now, um, this is beautiful here, but in this next shot... When it hits the ground, you would think it would make a huge, a much more huger explosion. Uh, but, uh, I guess not. I, I don't get it. It, it, was, it should make a bit much huger explosion. Take a look at this. And of course they made it crash over a hill so they didn't actually have to show it crashing. Boom! You would think it would be bigger than that. I, I would think it would be bigger than that. I mean, it has lots of weapons on board, does it not? Anyway. That was mission 15. Thanks for watching. Next up, the demon of the round table. Demon.